Droid. Welcome to the Droid Forms News Brief, where your also humble host, VG Storm. Hi, guys. And Serial Killer, that's me, mm-hmm. talk about the top news stories of the week. So, uh, so we're back from a little hiatus last week, so it's good to see you again, brother. Yeah, you too. Uh, we, we missed you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just uh, roll right into it, Stormy. All right, so first up today, we have the <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Uh, might have an ultra high definition display Ooh. in a dual edge version. Uh, supposedly they're pushing it to like a 3,840 by 2160 resolution <clears throat> with a maximum of 762 PPI. Well, first, it is unsurprising that they are planning a dual edge for the Galaxy Note 5. Let's cross our fingers that Samsung will include as much functionality in the edges as the Galaxy Note 4 already has. Because that's one of the main complaints about the Galaxy S6 edge edges is that uh, they don't have as much, much functionality as the Galaxy Note 4 edge does. Right. As far as the U- UHD insanely high res display and crazy PPI is concerned, I'm slightly torn on this issue, issue. While I agree that having a super high res display on a small device is kind of useless, mm-hmm. I still think it's worthwhile in the long run because Samsung needs to push the tech forward in order for it to evolve. Absolutely. Uh, at some point in the big picture, it will matter. Um, so that's my, my take on the on it. Yeah. Um, I really don't have a lot to add because you really um, you really covered it pretty well and I, I agree with a lot of your points. Um, you know, because I read it and I'm just like, okay, all right, that, that's nice. And, you know, it was... You know, didn't really spend too much time thinking about it because, um, you know, I'm really kind of interested in this Project Aura. Right. And, uh, you know, I kind of, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Kodiak. Kodiak 799 kind of, he kinda, he's not talking about Project Aura, but he's talking about, you know, an OEM, let, let, let's, let's say Moto. And, you know, having these phones that are like truly made to order. You pick the screen, you pick this, you pick that, and you kind of have your uh, custom made phone. Right. I'm, you know, I, I applaud their efforts, Samsung, you know, doing this. They got to make some change. They got to push that tech forward. I do agree with that. So, you know, this phone, it is what it is, but I'm really looking forward to these next, uh, these Project Aras and, and hopefully an OEM would take, uh, you know, Kodiak's, um, I don't want to say suggestion, his opinion and, and kind of run with it. I think that would be really fantastic moving forward. Hmm, right on. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So next up is the aluminum. Uh, um, Jeffrey wrote this story. The mm-hmm. Aluminum battery can charge a f- smartphone in one minute. Pretty incredible. Plus, it can bend. You know, it's pretty flexible. And now right. I got these. Right. Uh, you know, the, the flexible screens coming up. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm sure. You know, this will be obviously this will be implemented in that somehow. Mm-hmm. So this is just another one of those things where it's exciting to see where this type of tech is is gonna go, but. Uh, too good makes a really good point. You know how you know they do say it has a reasonable capacity, <laughs> but how long is it going to hold this charge? You know, I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna be compatible to today's batteries, but you know that's kind of um, something we gotta that remains to be seen. You know, so for sure. Uh, in fact, I I'm right in line with you. Uh, I love how I love watching how technology evolves. Uh, and it's great to see a, a fresh new advancement in battery technology. Uh, still, who knows how long it will take for this to actually come to market. And uh, CR6 said uh, this too, uh, his point is valid. Um, also, as an interesting side note, Elon Musk commented on this new tech and uh, he was unimpressed. Apparently, he's skeptical of how long these aluminum batteries will last. Mm-hmm. He makes a good point. Uh, I mean, really, if you think about it, what good is a battery that charges in one minute if you have to charge it every 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wicket's really quick before moving on. Wicket's comment uh, about, uh, where is it? I'll find it. About it's, it's, it's too long. A minute's too long. He must have one that charges in 20 to 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, I agree. That was, that's, that's, that's where we're heading with this, right? You know, mm-hmm. people are going, like, oh, one minute? No way. Anyway, uh, last up. LG G4 to support a new five and a half inch battery saving QHD LCD display. Yeah, it's interesting how it seems like the uh, the trend of larger screens is becoming more popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone who chimed in on this thread seems very happy with a 5.5 inch display. Uh, Popsonator said 5.5 inches is a perfect size. Uh, while I don't personally agree with that, 
I do apply to LG for being able to make a larger display fit in a smaller and low bezel case. Uh, it makes the device feel smaller. I love my Nexus 5. Yeah, yeah your Nexus 5 is pretty awesome. Um, as we've talked before, I really, I really like LG. I think they're a great manufacturer. I think mm -hmm. they make some really good phones, and I think the G3 was pretty awesome. Um, the only drawback was that screen. It was, I don't, it was kind of dull, or I don't know if it was the backlight. I don't know what. Yeah, it was, that's what they were saying in the thread, right? Yeah, it just awesome phone. So this, uh, you know, we're keeping the size like. Uh, uh, Popsinator mentions, you know, that I, I agree that I'm, I'm glad they're staying with this five and a half inch size, but you know, now they're going to bring up that nice looking screen. So mm -hmm. this phone should really kind of uh, be a huge hit with, with the LG fans and maybe people that are kind of just getting, uh, you know, that want to pick this phone up for the first time. I think they'll be really, really pleased with it. Good okay. job, LG. Roger that. So anyway, folks, that is it for this week. And we please remember to leave your comments in the news stories and you just may find yourself featured in these Droid Forums news brief. We do thank you for watching us. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you next week. That's right. Catch you later. See you in the forums.